Claudia Rubel is one of the 150,000 respiratory therapists in the U.S. Her days at Swedish Medical Center in Inglewood, Colorado, during this COVID surge, are a roller coaster. Our numbers tend to vary even by day, even by the beginning of the shift to the end of the shift. Um, our numbers have definitely been going up. Brian Emmerich works rapidly on charts in between seeing patients, 80% of which are fighting COVID, he says. It's a daily, hourly uh, effort to try to keep up with the times and the needs to address the pandemic. The days are long. There's overtime, extra shifts, and sometimes a struggle for these healthcare heroes to unwind when they leave the hospital. It's difficult at times to disconnect. Uh, you do see some sad situations, and we have so many staff that have stories with the time, the time they've spent with patients to try to help them work through their, their fears and their concerns. No one can have visitors that has COVID-19. It's a lonely place. I am very concerned about mental and physical burnout. 12, 16 hours a day and going back day after day and doing it and not seeming to see the, the end of the storm or light at the end of the tunnel can be very devastating. Tim Myers with the American but, uh, Association for Respiratory pretty, Care says yeah, back in March, they set up a fund for the families of any respiratory therapist who died from COVID-19. So far, they've paid it out more than two dozen times. We're up to 25 respiratory therapists that have died across the U.S. Uh, from contracting uh, coronavirus and, and many, many more that have actually been in their own intensive care units on ventilators. And all the while throughout the surge, more patients, more needs. There's a shortage of these clinical experts. Before the pandemic, Myers says there was about a 10% respiratory therapist shortage nationally. Many of the workers are boomers and the numbers of graduates just don't fill the jobs that will be left vacant. But both respiratory therapists we spoke with say while they are exhausted, they plan to keep working because of why they got into this field in the first place, to help people. There's only so many of us and we definitely need more respiratory therapists out there. Lindsay Thies, Newsy, Denver.